Hey guys and welcome back to House Flipper 2. So um, I've done one job off camera that was just another cleaning one but the next one I thought I might as well leave for you guys. Now I've spent a bit of time going around sorting out this house, this is our base house. Sold everything uh, and I've been around and painted mainly just so we can get these perks upgraded. Um, so we've got the painting one all the way up which makes the jobs a lot faster because I want to really get into the flipping bar and we've got the flipper tool. Um, one leveled up as well so that means we can change style without having to delete something the only other difference um, not really got anything else done yet but uh, I thought I'd come on with you guys into the next uh, job because it's a actual well flip I mean I'm not buying a house it seems like he's buying the house and I need to do it up so they can sell it um, but hopefully this is like the start to the flipping side of the game. Well, that I th I'm guessing cleaning this house would do a lot for the value. If it was just cleaning, but I'm, hopefully it's more than just that. Uh, selling and buying as well, I guess. But uh, I think we kind of need to start out going around and picking up all this, um, all this rubbish and get it cleaned. Now, problem is, how much of this can go in a bag and how much do I have to go around and sell? See, it's made it a tiny little bit more realistic than the first one because you could pick, like, tyres and everything up and put them in, you know, when you were just picking up rubbish. Um, I'm guessing that doesn't really fit in a rubbish bag, so it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, let's go around and sell this stuff. Anything that we can't sell it won't let us anyway, so that's fine. Just kind of go around and spam flip on everything. Now I'm guessing they'll want everything selling. Stuff inside needs selling as well. Get the outside sorted, then we can get inside the house. That's the wrong button. Can we open this? Um, let's see if we can get. Okay, you can't get in that door. Uh, it's a little bit strange. I guess we'll have to go in this way. Let's just go around and sell as much as possible. It's like we can do the cleaning and stuff after. Once the big stuff's gone, it makes everything else a little bit easier, especially if it's like uh, rubbish all over the place, because it will just drop straight to the floor and make it a lot easier to to do. I think it just wants absolutely everything selling by the looks of it. And if we miss anything, I'm pretty sure we'll find it on the way around. So, pick up some more rubbish. I'm gonna have to take this bag outside in a minute, I'm guessing, because there's. Oh, there it is. Quite a lot inside. Can we get it from here? Uh, nope. It's annoying that you can't throw them over the fence. Alright, I need to get this in now. Okay, I think the longer you hold the button, the further it throws it. Yeah, there we go. That was kind of embarrassing, but never mind. Trash collected per. So we can either bigger trash bags, bigger area. Let's go for the bigger ones, and I don't have to run back into quite as much. And honestly, it doesn't actually take that long um, to uh, to level up. Anything else in here? Nope. We've got stuff to sell in here. Anything else to sell? Selling's done. It's everything in that room. There we go. Now let's rush through this cleaning really quick. Because this is kind of the boring bit. Okay, so I think the whole thing is clean now. We'll find out if there is any more at the end um, 
once we've done all the buying and stuff. But um, I can't quite see anything else. So we're going to go on to the buying stuff. Now there's a few rooms inside and then there's the actual outside of the house and then this on the ceiling. So I thought we're up here now. We might as well start up here. Um, we need two of these. Let's put the um, parasol up first because then we can put the two uh, kind of sun chairs underneath on an angle. Like that and then 12 of these plants I'm guessing these needs to go uh, six of these okay so we've got six beds so if we go let's just check this fits first can we put yeah we'll do it like that then there's six of these plant beds and each one should fit the exact same thing in. That one, two more. And then this one. Oh. Hopefully we spread them out enough in each of them that it can fit in all of them because yeah. For some reason they want plants on the beach. Uh, and then we've got the table. Should just fit if I can move in the middle there. So that's the upstairs finished. That was nice and easy. So now we've got the deck area which is just one table and two chairs. And I think we can't block the door so I think if we put them up in the corner should fit nicely if it let me. Is this outside area done? I think. I think it's the same all around. I don't think there's anything different if you go around the outside. No. So now we've got the inside. So we've got. We can get in. So we've got a little room here, main room here, and I'm guessing that's a bathroom in there. And I'm, well, by the looks of it, it's probably going to need decorating. Yeah. So we've got tiles. And then buying stuff. No. Okay, we need 370, and I think it doesn't really matter which one, but we'll we'll try and make it look nice instead of just like putting the same one up. So maybe if I do this wall. I was thinking they'd probably put the shower down there. So decorate this part and then we can use the other type of tile for the other wall for the rest of the wall and then this sh should be okay for like shower area and then put them down and take this one for the rest of the room now I can't be too crazy with this otherwise it'll just overlap there we go pick tiles up when your hands are actually empty that's a bit annoying you can't just fill it up part way through let's uh, be careful here um okay um i'm guessing they want the floor doing as well then Let's just try. Oops. Oh, it's got that bloody. Oh, it's got the gold around it. I've completely forgot about that. It's got the gold around in the areas that I need to be doing it, and I wasn't even looking at that. It was like my brain seriously didn't even register where I needed to be putting the tiles. So, oh well, they got a bit of it extra. Nice bathroom. Oh, I'm just selling something. 
I've seen those hooks. And we can sell these as well. Okay, what else do we need in the shrooms? We need to buy mirror, a shower, toilet, and a sink. So if we get the shower in first, yes, that fits perfectly. That was the correct idea. If it will fit. Perfect. Sink, we'll have under the window, because I like sinks under the window, I don't know why. Even though you can't put the mirror kind of above it, but that's okay. We can have the mirror on this wall and then to go next to the sink. Is that everything? That room is finished. Okay, we'll go for the other little room before we do the main room. Bedroom, so we've got bed, nightstand, and then mostly decorative stuff. So let's get the bed in first. Let's have a look. Okay. Now, I don't know whether this is texture or. I'm guessing this, like, this is material, so I'm guessing it's texture, but. And then colour is just. Oh, limited in colour. There wasn't like unlimited like yesterday. We'll go for the green colour. I wanted that greeny colour. That one with like a grey. I wanted that. There we go. Right in the centre. And then we don't even have to do the um the match thing, whatever it's called, the you know, making the items match each other because it already does. Um that one I got there. Set of drawers doesn't really fit anywhere. Wait a minute, I'm pressing the wrong button. One minute. No, oh, I could change the handles. Um, I'm wondering what all the numbers were. I can go there, that's fine. Uh, then we need mirror. So that'll fit fine there. And I think the rest of it's just decorative by the looks of it on top of things. That one. With planting. Oh, oh, I think this is supposed to fit all three in, I guess. Because there's no other parts on there. Okay, then a vase or vase, whatever you want to call it. Alarm clock. Candle. And lamp. Go up there. Is that that room done? Now we need to paint it. White. Why white? Okay, now, as I said earlier, I unlocked uh, the different paint things, which means now I, I don't actually have to select an area. And I've got the big roller. So it makes paint on the walls a lot easier but it does seem to use more paint i've just got the like decreased paint uh, perk as well but when i first got this big one it seemed to use i wouldn't say more paint because obviously the roller's bigger it'll use more but it seems to use more paint in the same area than if you're using the small one if that makes sense but that might just be me I don't know if that's completely done. No, it's not. Oh no, it says paint's not done. So 
where am I missing? Is it done now? Yes. Sell that one. That's this room done. So now we've just got the main room to do. In here. And this one is... Surfaces, lots of buying. No painting, so it's just these surfaces. 239. So let's start with this one. And this needs to go in this area. There we go. We need to learn to pay attention to that yellow outline. I'll figure it out eventually. I've got to say, I do like these uh, placing tiles better than painting, actually. either or so we chose that one out let's try not to headbutt the microphone okay so now we've got to buy all the stuff so we'll start with let's start with the kitchen and i'm i'm not gonna go through changing how it looks right now i'll, I'll, I'll figure all that eventually but we're just gonna go with the style that comes up to start with. And there, what else are we missing? That's a hanging one, hanging, hanging. Fridge can go over. Let's just put the fridge there for now. This one. Have we got a little sink? It's a narrow sink. Okay, hanging cabinets. So we've put that one. Obviously, it needs to go in the same corner. And then we'll just line these up, see what's best. It doesn't really bother me too much if. Like where the glass bits are or anything like that. So let's put that one. Wait a minute. We need to put the fridge in first. Okay, so I'm guessing the idea is for that to go above the fridge. So we'll need to put this one in first. And this one up there. Is that everything for the kitchen? This all, well, decorative stuff. But I think that's all the big stuff for the kitchen. So we've got the bread bin. What else have we got for the kitchen? Drying rack can go there. It's a bit strange you've got an oven. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, it's a bit strange you've got an oven but not a cooker, but that's there as well. Towel. Um. How does... How is this supposed to go? Doesn't hang on anything. Doesn't go on the wall. Um so you have no idea where that towel's supposed to go. Oh well, we'll leave that one to last. Uh let's go into the living room. Okay, we'll put the sofa over in this corner. Looks like it'll fit fine in this little area. Oh, I'm outside. Um, have we got a TV stand? Shell. Coffee table. Can go in front. And I don't, doesn't look like we've got TV, so it's a computer desk. But we're going to need to match things up, which is that one. We'll match things to... Style. Yeah, it's not very. Um, don't know if it just means. I don't know if it doesn't work or if it just means that you can't have that set. Actually, you can see. So, why does it not work on this one? 
Hmm. Is they with the same brand? See here now, it automatically switches to that style for me for these. Didn't work for the disc unless... Let's try and delete the disc. And see if it works. We do need to get everything to fit though. I think it needs to go right up to the edge. Computer desk. Nope. Mustn't be able to get that style in the desk, which is a bit annoying because it's going to be odd. But oh, what can I do? Uh, shelf. Laptop. Okay, coffee machine. We'll get that over in the kitchen. Strange kind of. Not like a camping lamp or something. Pot with flowers can go up and here. I think these are the tiny ones like we did in the bedroom, so they're nice and easy. What else we got? A bowl. Uh random fish stuff. For the desk, I guess. Desk organizer. Yeah, nice and easy. I wonder if we can take the style of that. Put it on that. Yes, it's better. What else have we got? Now we've got this towel. Like, I can't, seriously can't figure out how to. Because I can rotate it. not going to go in the fridge is it? The drawer. You can't lay it down. It just doesn't let me put it anywhere. I can't put it on the cupboards. I can't hang it on the walls. It doesn't ask me to buy a hook or anything. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. And it still says, it says I've got three stars. So I guess I'm just going to have to leave that because I mean everything else is done. Uh, it's just that towel which I don't get. So maybe it's a bit of a bug. Not sure. Um, but I'll have a play around at some point and see. So let's finish this up. 25,726. That's a... That's a good profit. Three stars. So that little one towel didn't make any difference. Thank Thank you for that. Okay. Hello there. How did you like your first full house flip? Um. So you actually enjoy it? Yeah. That's great. I mean, that's Finico when the game. needs a talented house renovator. So when the town council members finally come to their senses, we have someone to fix that poor old driftwood house. But in the meantime, I have an idea for how you can practice your house flipping skills. Buying houses and selling them. Exactly. And I know a way in which you can do it. There's a site where you can look for rundown houses. Just buy them, do your magic, and put them on sale. I'm sure that with your work quality, you'll find buyers in no time. You did so well with the last house that I managed to sell it for way more than I expected. So, I want to share some of the profit with you. It should be enough for you to buy your own house to flip. If you want to, of course. Take care and good luck with your career. Want to. Okay, we can flip houses. To buy one, press tab, open the houses tab. Yeah. So let's see. Houses. On sale. There we go. And we've got 124,000. Wait. 124,000. Yeah, that's about right. Um. Okay, so there's not a lot, but I'm guessing the more you do, the more houses will come available. We've got nine houses. Up to 120,000, obviously, we're not going to be able to do that. I think we'll probably be just starting with some of the smaller ones. Uh, usually the best way to go. But uh, I'm not going to be doing one today because, I mean, that last one took a little bit longer than expected. So I think we're going to finish for today here and then probably go on to another one. 
maybe do one job and one flip in the next episode. But um, if the jobs get a bit repetitive, then I will stick to the house flipping um, for the videos and then just work my way through uh, the jobs myself because they're usually pretty straightforward and easy. Um, but we still need to find out how we unlock the rest of the stuff. I mean, we've not got these two yet with the demolition walls and building walls so I really want to unlock that so hopefully one of these jobs that have come up will be able to do that but uh, yeah that's all we've got time for today guys so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time